Hey guys, so welcome back to my chemical nightmare. And today I'm going to be talking about something that I learned yesterday in group therapy. And it was actually really helpful, so I'm gonna talk about that. So basically it's about accepting reality. I'm pretty sure we all struggle with this a little bit. I don't know, it's, yeah. So, <sighs> accepting reality. There are five optional ways that you can um, respond when a serious problem comes into your life. Number one, figure out how to solve the problem. Number two, change how you feel about the problem. Three, accept it. Four, stay miserable in which you use no skills. And five, make things worse, which are acting on your impulses, which is like self-harm basically. And now, why bother accepting reality? Rejecting reality does not change reality. Changing reality, reality requires first accepting reality. Rejecting reality turns pain and suffering into suffering. Re refusing to accept reality can keep you stuck in unhappiness, anger, shame, sadness, bitterness, and other painful emotions. So, usually when you think of something as radical, you think it as like a bad thing, like all out, you know, extreme. But when it comes to reality, you have to use radical acceptance. And radical acceptance is a skill of accepting the things you cannot change. And acceptance in itself is seeing reality for what it is, even if you don't like it. Acceptance is a choice. So I'm going to tell you the scenario that I'm currently dealing with that I found this pretty helpful with. So it's like, let's say you see someone's online and you decide, hey, I want to talk to them. So you message them and they either don't reply at all or they read it and don't reply. And well, it's it really sucks because that, that happens to me a lot. And so basically, it's like you have to accept the fact that sometimes people just don't want to talk to you. You know, they, it doesn't mean that they don't care. They just don't feel like talking to you or in general, talking to people at all, or maybe they're busy. So that is something that I think a lot of people kind of go through. Mm, let's see what's next? Okay, there is a difference between willfulness and willingness. Willfulness is refusing to tolerate a situation or giving up. And willingness is allowing the world to be what it is and participating in it fully. Next. Acceptance of reality as it is sometimes requires an act of choice, as I mentioned before. Breathe mindfully to be in the moment and to help develop a more accepting mindset. So which basically means take a step back and just like, okay, this is happening, this is real, this is okay. Accept reality with your face, half smile. So this is because even, um, as my therapist said, whenever they said, fake it till you make it, they don't mean like being genuine, but rather they mean just if you act happy, later on you actually will be happy because it's like if you smile, fake smile, um, the chemicals, it will release like happy chemicals in your brain very slowly and the more you do it, the more you actually will be happy. So that's what they mean when they say fake it till you make it. Okay, mm that is pretty much it. Um, another scenario I wanted to share with is one of the combining one of the five choices that you can make that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Figuring how to solve the problem and making things worse. Oh, wait, no, that's five. Sorry. One in five. And, um, an example of those two together 
are whenever you feel sad or angry and you you want to solve the problem so the way that you think of solving the problem is by self-harming which really isn't it's just making things worse aka acting on your impulsive urges self-harm you know all that and I think this is really helpful at least for me because I have trouble accepting things and you know things just bother me uh, so I hope this was kind of helpful or at least informative sorry if it wasn't uh, so yeah see you guys next time